when you look at the body, and, and, the, and one of the things that happens, one of the, the, the huge things on my practice is looking at the body's natural process. And one of the huge issues there is, is, is systemic enzymes. Uh, people, animals in the wild don't get cancer, don't get heart disease, don't get irritable bowel syndrome, don't have all the cholesterol problems we have. I mean, a bear, there's a bear's cholesterol's 400, so they never get heart attacks, they don't get strokes. Well, you know, it's just like what the, one of the problems with, with us and with all our inflammation and all our problems is we've run out of enzymes. When you're born, you're born full of enzymes and whenever you fall down or hurt yourself, you know, you'd, you'd fall out of a tree or fall off your bike and you'd get up, brush it off, laugh and go do it again. And, or you'd cut yourself while you're out playing. You look at it, oh, I'm bleeding. And then you just, oh, I'm too, I'm too much fun. And at the end of the day, you're looking around and where did I cut myself? And the body, as a child, we heal with an invisible scar so often. And that's because we're full of the natural enzymes that do all the work in our body. There's six enzymes you need. They, make into, they combine into 3,000 different compounds that do about 7,000 different things. And without these enzymes, we can't repair ourselves. So when people start getting old, you know, people, they start getting more stiff and rigid and, you know, they don't have the flexibility. When you look at CAT scans of their organs or the kidneys are all shrunk and oftentimes their heart is wood and their liver is all congested. Their arteries are all placked up. They don't have circulation to the hands and feet. Um, and what's missing? Well, enzymes are one of the key pieces because in, in our bodies, we're, as I say, we're born with them. But when we start to use them up and we're not replacing them, the body says, at the rate you're using up your enzymes, you're going to be dead by the time you're 40 or 30. So your body starts rationing them out. And the whole reason we run out of enzymes is because we're the only animals on this planet smart enough not to eat live food. All other animals eat living things. The cows and horses eat the grass and the plants. The bird eat the bugs and the worms. The fish eat other fish and insects and algae. The lion eats the gazelle or, you know, but us, we eat nothing alive. So 30 minutes after you pick the fruit or eat the veg pick the vegetable, the enzymes in 30 minutes will be half gone. An hour later, another 50% gone. So anything you get in the grocery store is dead. There's no enzymes in it. So we're eating all this dead food. We're, we're so far removed from how we grew up. We look at our, our parents or our grandparents or our great-grandparents that grew up in the farm that ate, all, you know, ate more off the land. You, you know, the taking a tomato off the vine and eating it or corn or you know, potatoes or beans or anything just out of the soil. It's just so vibrant, so full of life. That's what we're missing. So when people are living on cardboard and processed foods that is dead, that's what makes my job so easy. How I can turn people's health around so simply is you're mi that's just one of the numerous things that you're missing that are fundamental. If you don't have the fundamentals covered, you can't get well.